Now, we're going to have to turn them back on the oxygen. Because, uh, well... Oh, crap. Get out of there, Mike, because we're, we're losing oxygen. 35%. That ain't good. So off you go, back to the front of the ship. And uh, how are we going to turn on the oxygen? Well, I don't know. Let's head on to the ship and buy some more power bars. Because it looks like we're running out of reactor, reactor power. So, a couple of ba power bars... And uh, what else are we going to buy, guys? Upgrading re increases the oxygen refill. I don't know if we want that. Weapons control. Upgrading lets you power more weapons. Don't really need that. Every shield bar can block one incoming shot. Upgrading increases your bar count. Well, let's, 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 let's invest in that, I reckon. A couple of them. Oh, we can afford, only can afford one. Once you, once you buy one bar, the price goes up. And we can't quite afford 30 scrap. I might power some engines then. Yeah. Yeah, let's put, the, let's put the engine the engine power up. That increases our dodge, as you can see down there. And it means we charge to FTL a lot quicker. So, so if we're in a tricky situation, we can, you know, FTL the hell out of there. Problem is, with only one crew member, it basically means that uh, we're done for, basically. If our ship's in such a state that we're going to die, then they're probably taking out our engines and we can't jump to FTL, and that's a tricky situation to be in, guys. So, I'll accept that, and uh, let's power the uh, the O2. How, how are we going to... Oh, unpower the shields and power the O2. There we go. But I'm not sure where all these bars have gone. How come we can't uh, use more than four bars? That's a, that's, a, that's a puzzle right there. Well, the O2 room is powered, so I might send Mike over to O2 to uh, see what he can do. Mike? Mike, are you, uh, you okay, Mike? Do you want to do you wanna, do you wanna move, Mike? Or, or are, you, are you being lazy? What's going on? Well, the O2's on. I'm a bit a bit confused here, guys. We're stuck in a black ship. Mike? Mike? Is, is Mike is Mike hypnotized? Is Mike dead? I don't know. What's going on? This section of the nebula is experiencing a plasma storm. Your main reactor can only function at half capacity. Uh, I see, that's why we got these problems. So, I'm going to disable weapons. So we'll start by disabling the burst laser. Now that that's disabled, we can turn on, uh, I don't know. What can we turn on? The med bay. Oh, yeah, the med bay. So, Mike, why, why, Mike, why aren't you... Uh, let's open the doors. Can we open the doors? Open all the doors on the ship. There we go. And Mike, Mike, why don't you move, Mike? Mike's stuck. Mike, why don't you move? Oh, no wonder nothing's working. I've got it paused. I can't believe how, how long I've been, you know, wrecking my brain, wondering what was going on. All right, before I unpause, let's make sure everything's on that we think should be. So, O2 is powered, and let's turn on the shields in the med bay, and we'll unpause it, and hopefully, Mike, yeah, good, good on you, Mike. Oxygen's filling back up. So get, get get your ass onto the cockpit, and uh, and we'll move forward, yeah? Good job. Engines are off, because uh, obviously we're waiting for the oxygen. In fact, Mike, get your ass over to the oxygen chamber. That might increase the rate in which the oxygen refills the ship. There's no bonus for having a guy in there, it doesn't look like, but who knows? No, I don't see it going up. Let's take another look at Mike, though. Mike has... Oh, let's see. Weapons, 10% faster charge... And uh, next level, well, he's got some he's got some experience points in, in weapon systems. So, uh, I reckon Mark's a good one to have on the weapons, yeah? So, we've got danger going off. The reactor, half capacity. And uh, you're inside the nebula, so your sensors don't function, which is a bit of an issue. But once the O2's back up, and there it is, let's head on to the cockpit, Mike, and let's FTL the hell out of here. Right. Trying to make the ah oh, obviously, we'll turn off the med bay and turn on the engines. In fact, we'll turn the med bay back on. And uh, yeah, let's jump to light speed, guys. Oh, and the fleet are catching up slowly, but uh, ever so slowly because we're still inside the nebula. I'm not sure I like the nebula though because uh, well yeah, we uh, we come across some some tricky stuff in here. So I'm gonna come out over here and then I'll hit the bottom right corner one, and we'll see what's up. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. 
Oh, I don't know then. Let's let's take the ship because he's going to have lots, lots of black market booty. Oh yeah. Now I remember last episode I said, if you get the choice, ignore a ship, don't attack it. But I've learned a lot about the game now. I reckon I can successfully pilot the ship, even though it's only Mike there. I reckon I can pilot us to victory. So attack the pirate, but pause it. Pause the game. You pair up your weapons and move to engage. That's right. Slug interceptor. Oh no, is that, a, is, that a, is that a beastie little... Let's turn the weapon systems on. There we go. And let's send Mike to the weapons room. Now when that's charged, we're going to send a missile at their shields. And then after the shields have been taken out, we're going to use the burst laser to shoot their weapons. So this requires timing. Timing, guys. There we go. Missile away. Now let's see if this takes out the shield. It does. Perfect. So. Oh no, Mike! Put that fire out, Mike. Oh, look at him go. He's using the uh, the old fire extinguisher there. Nice choice. But uh-oh. Oh no, the weapon system is under attack. Oh shit. Well, let's take out their weapons with our missile. And then they can't fire back. Can they, guys? No. So. Fire's out. He's repairing the missiles, the uh, the weapon system, and we've just sent a missile out towards their weapon systems. Come on, guys. Nice. Weapons are down. That's a lovely, lovely shot there, Mike. Now, while they're recovering, we will send another missile right at their cockpit. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Weapons are back on. Let's send that missile back at the weapons. Yeah. Shut you down. We realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Five fuel, two drone parts. Nah, I hate pirates. I hate smugglers. Let's take them out, guys. One more missile, straight to the weapon system, and they're done for. Oh, yeah. There we go. Kablamo. Deader than a dingo in heat. Oh, we got 20 scrap and a hull smasher laser. Wow. It's cargo with some new military grade weaponry. Somehow undamaged, and it can be easily mounted on the ship. Great, great stuff. Let's head on over to the ship. Equipment, and a hull laser. Great, we'll keep it there, because uh, I don't know what it does. Charge time, 14 seconds. Wait, it's got a long charge, but uh, two shots per charge. Damage per shot, two. Breach chance, low, but there is a breach chance. And two times damage, on systemless rooms. Oh wow, so this is a laser you want to be shooting at rooms that do not have any kind of systems in. Well, that, that works. I think I might um, upgrade the weapon system then so that we can uh, have the... Oh no, we can't. I can't quite afford that, guys. So, uh, yeah, well, next next go, oh, next time I can afford it, next time we get the scrap, I'm going to buy some weapon power bars so that we can power more weapons and that way we can get that, that hull laser back online. And we can do some proper damage. Alright, guys, let's go. Let's take the deadly dingo. Come on, Mike. Oh, what, Mike, why are you, why are you in a... Mike's, Mike's, Mike's not 100% health. Let's head him, up, head him over to the, to the med bay. Good on you, Mike. And now, back to the cockpit. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's see. Can I, can I power up the... Oh, I can't. I can power up the, the, the burst laser or the hull laser, but I don't know. We have to power them up based on uh, what we come across. So, okay, let's jump. Let's see where the fleets are. Ah, oh, they're miles behind, guys. I reckon I can go to this corner, then this one right there, and then straight to the exit, and that'll be out of us as out of sector one. Okay, let's do it. Oh God, I think we jumped into. A... Oh no, it's okay. It's another slug interceptor. Well, there are no rooms on this ship that don't have systems, so uh, I reckon we're going to be using the burst laser. This beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant. Class M star. Oh no. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here. Or die. Don't want that to happen, guys. I know I love a Barbie, but this is a bit too close to call. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. You reckless pirate. I'm going to do you. Do you right up the caboose. Pause it. Let's get Mike into the, into the weapon room. Come on, Mike. We'll charge the Artemis because we've got 11, 11 missiles and uh, we've only got Mike on the crew. So I don't want to take any chances. And we're going to go straight for the weapon system. And the burst laser, we are going to shoot at the... Uh, actually, nah. 
we should hit the burst laser at the uh, at the weapons and the Artemis at the uh, the shield system. That way, we can take out the shield so the laser can breach properly. And the, yeah, the lasers charge him right quick. Off it goes. Boom! Down go the shields, and boom! Down go the weapons. Perfect. They offer to give us some of their goods. Two fuel, one missile, 13 scrap. Oh, no retreat, no surrender. Take them out, take them out. Solar flare, oh, solar flare. Guys, we ain't got long before they're going to blow us the kingdom come with the sun. But it's okay, another missile. In fact, let's save the missiles because uh, this only needs a laser to finish them off. Oh, oh no, fire in the sensor room. Mike, get on the, oh, actually, actually, I've got an idea, guys. We're going to pause the game, open the doors, and jettison the fire into space. Look at that. Oh, the ship explodes, and the fire should go out now. Weapon breach bomb, Mark II? Wow, that's a crazy weapon. And 22 scrap. So, oh, oh no, the fire's spreading. No, no, what's going on? The sensors are down. Mike, get over there. Find out what's going on. Oh, no, Mike, put out the fire. Good job, Mike. Oh, but he's losing health because uh, I'll close the airlock. There we go. Now, Mike, get into the med bay. Good on you, Mike. Now, you should heal up now. Good job. Oh, the solar flare's coming back. Oh, come on, Mike. I hope this doesn't... Oh, no. Fire in the med bay. We're going to have to get out of here right quick. I'm going to close up these doors so the fire can't spread, I hope. Oh, Mike. No, Mike, get out of there. Get out of there, Mike. Get to the cockpit, quick. Oh, the ship's going up. We've got to get the hell out of here. FTL is charging. Come on, Mike. You can do it. And we're going to flash the fire out of those two rooms, hopefully. Now, we haven't got our sensors on, so we can't see it happening. But I reckon we'll be okay. We're almost there. Almost charged the FTL. Come on, we've got to do this before the next solar flare. There we go. Jump. Let's get the hell out of here. Hopefully this will be a peaceful a peaceful beacon. Otherwise, we're in trouble, guys. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are, and we don't care. But this is the right place for some ship repair. Well, I can do that. Repair 20 damage for, for 40 scrap. Well, let's count how many bars. I think we've got about 10 damage. That seems about right. In fact, let's, let's repair 5 damage, because I don't think the hull's really the problem right now. Our problem is the fire. Now, has that gone out? We've got to send Mike back in there, but I don't want him to go up in flames. So, uh, be careful, Mike. Okay, sensor room is fine. No! No, Mike! No! Mike! No! Well, guys, <laughs> that's game over. I just walked my crew guy into the vacuum of space without actually thinking about it first. So, next time I think we're going to have to try not to uh, to lose so many crew when we're playing the game, so we don't have such a tricky problem when it comes to later on and we've only got one guy running around trying to fix the ship. To be honest, I'm surprised we survived that long with one crew member, but Mike, you'll, you'll be forever remembered in the uh, in the Hall of Fame, so thanks a lot, guys. I've been Stin, thanks for watching, and uh, take care, and I'll see you next time for some more FTL.